what is going on guys name is here bringing you guys a brand new video now it is 8 43 in the morning and there was just crazy matches last night guys i just took a bit to relax now this morning i'm coming back giving you guys a brand new breakdown video of optic chicago versus dallas now i've been really hard on this team i've been talking about the, all the mistakes that they've been making and what they've needed to fix and i think they went back and they fixed a lot of their issues maybe they watched some of the videos but no they did look a lot better, especially in Search and Destroy yesterday. I've been loving the way Formal and Scump are playing and sort of the strategy that they've implemented. They fixed a lot of their mistakes and we're gonna go through this last game five right here. Now, honestly, in this series, I felt like Optic won the series 5-0. They seem like a way better team than Empire at this point in time. I mean, on the first map, they should have won. They made a big mistake. You know, I'm actually going to go back to that map real quick just to show you guys. Okay, so this is the rotation. So Dashi dies, Gump gets the trade. All right, now take a look at the mini map, you guys. So all of Empire's rotating. There's two guys here, two guys here, right? So five seconds left. There's a guy inside of gold, number one. That is Shotzi. And there's two guys in gold, actually. One guy going around, one guy going street. So split push out of Empire. And they do it again. Look what happens. So Illy kills Scump. Envoy gets killed by Krim, it's what and then Dashy kills one guy gold. So the rest of the players are near Doggy and Street. Dashy comes Dashi around, gets the kill on Shotzi. Formo kills Krim, and then Dashy basically turns on the last guy. So they get control of the hill here. Dashy goes big. So now they kill. Now they kill. They kill a bunch of people here. So here's the opportunity. Skunk pushes up. Dump gets through, go. gets another kill. Now they need to be sending another guy through, maybe through window or another guy through to the street, but they sit back. They're killing, gets the kill. They they can win it. One player gets behind him. He gets gunned as well. So look guys you see the error that was made right here hold on it's a very nitpicky thing but it's something that can help optic win games when you get go. kills you have to push up so they all turn around there looking for this guy inside of gold so look there sorry i have to keep looking so he gets through so number five right here should be pushing up there's a bunch of people dead i don't understand why he's not going so they kill this last guy here and then he dies so look number eight dies scum dies and then they kill him okay all dead now, why is number seven not jumping out and pushing up? That That's what he should be doing. He should be pushing up and trying to slay the other guys that are off the spawn. Now that is the, that's my nitpick moment, but that could win them the game. But instead, they don't push up and they just sit there like sitting ducks. They all look for one guy, and that is classic just miscommunication in the last final moments of the game. If they were communicating a little bit better, they could win that. But obviously, they've improved a ton. I'm just nitpicking. All right, into it. Okay, so Empire on offense round number one. So here, unacceptable out of Dashi. I mean, we are 11 seconds into the round and dashi is already dead so this was my main critique of dashi especially when it comes to this checkmate map is he gets blooded way too much so he is sort of the player that plays near a plays tube it's like he's not in the plane he's not in the play right like he's not supposed to be a part of the play until later in the round he's not even supposed to be looking for bloods to be quite honest um and he gets blooded here so already off to a very bad start and you'll see what they have to actually do and what works for them on this map. So I will get into it okay. uh, later in the game. But right there, that's going to illustrate my point uh, pretty heavily that like, come on, bro. The, the you can't die that quick. Two, that shots you with a Krig to open things up on the dashy. And now you, you're down a man. And look at Dallas. They just kind of slow it down. Is there any overreaction? Every, any over my big gripe with Optic was... They never had Envoy a part of the play on this map uh, when they used to play. He used to play this weird like solo role where he would play very slow. And I always felt like Envoy, when he's not a part of the play in Search and Destroy, he plays a little bit too slow or he thinks a little bit too hard and he ends up costing his team rounds. And then also with Dashi, I like when he plays on his own, when he plays safe. When Dashi plays on his own and tries to look for challenges or picks or something like that, he costs his team rounds. So I really like how having Formal and Scump together at all times on rounds, but I want Envoy to be there with them and I want Dashi to be playing his life. And now that is where I think Optic will find success. 
Shotzi was hurt this series, by the way. He played great. Played, he played really good this series. I just knows that there's nobody on top of that table right now. Yeah, he's got Whoa. size size 15 sneaker just burst <laughs> through size there. Size 25. I don't know. Woo. The formal with the big pick on the hook. Huge play out of Matt. Three versus three now. Time dwindling. Ten seconds to go. Cram in from behind. Shots everywhere, but on the formal. And boy, on quickly boy. part of the play. On like that. Kills, Good job. All right, so well there. played. Out of optic. They win the 3v4. Formal with the huge pick from the wing. Formula for success for this optic gaming roster. Give Envoy the liberty to be able to get information, be part of the play, work the map, and make the play calls and dissect what's going on. And you put your two blunt force weapons at the push. Money. Love it. Right. Holes everywhere. So this is like their basic strat. Formal goes to the steps off the rip and helps out the street in case there's a quick push. Dashy plays his life and he's going to play around this area most of the time. <clears throat> Envoy goes to the bottom right wing to stop the push and then Scump holds the plane. I mean, they're covering all their bases. I like it. Start from Envoy. I mean, the big thing is just like Envoy can't get blooded over here and Dashy can't get blooded over here. Two big it's things. He gets two. And they bring it back despite being first blooded. Envoy's just it's working the map trying to get info. Out. I like this, but he's quickly going to be able to be part of the play if he needs to. Be in play for this round. You see, at least still holding. Right here, game you're doing a good job. Corner. You know where they're going to be at, right? Like they haven't pushed up, they haven't done anything crazy. You're stopping them from getting full map control. So optics doing a good job. This is always the first job. Now it's like you know there's a guy back there, and you know there's a guy on bombs. You got to work it. So what they're doing right now is they're waiting for Formo to get some bullets down on the guy in the back of the plane. Once he gets bullets down on the guy in the back of the plane, then a pl then Scump's going to have the liberty to be able to challenge this guy up here because you know he's there. They're breaking down their setup, man. This is a high-level search. So then gets in a gunfight, injures him a little bit, and now Formal's waiting for the quick reach out. Nothing happens. Gives the call out. Scump goes in, gets the kill. Scump gets traded. Envoy's there as well. So while that's all going on and the direction is being, it's being redirected, the focus is being redirected into the plane, Envoy makes a play up the right side of the map. I like that play a lot because he gets the kill on Tahu. Bang. Envoy gets traded because he goes into the plane, but it gives Formo enough time to be there for the trade onto him to put them in a number situation. Trim gets the kill. Formo gets the trade. Guys, if that wasn't a flawless round of search and I don't know what is. That was beautiful. Can you put it away or will the offensive woes continue? You see, they start to look for that pick on the dashy. So Empire's very smart. Dashy got caught in that first round. They know that he plays over there and they want to isolate him because he's like the guy. If they die, they have the liberty to push the side of the map because they know that he's going to be alone. We've seen that sometimes. They don't see him. I mean, obviously he's so confident in his abilities and his shot, but you know, if you lose it, it, it can hurt you, especially on a Here, map Burke like calls it out as well. This is what a lot of the offensive teams are trying to so do. Who is that? That's Hook. And we, sit, we, we see Hook a lot playing this A bomb site by himself. And they're trying to work he the loves taking picks, those ones. Which is Dashy and Envoy. Because when you work the outside picks, that forces kind of... You, you can know, see they're really trying to pick Dashy. But as they're doing that, Formal's there for the kill, man. He knows what the other teams are going to be trying to do. Gets the kill onto the guy in the plane. Puts him in a power position. Unfortunately, gets taken out by Illy from underneath the plane. Illy hits it three versus three now. Optic had the three v four. Empire's chance to do the same. Krim will work to get the bomb down. Big win on the bomb. See, this is why you got to stay alive, Dashy. It's the guy Dashy. off the bomb site, and he nice knows that somebody's going to be hunting for him over here. Position, so big win out of Hook there. The Hook barely gets away with this life right here. Just about everywhere. Can he I'm get out? Behind just gets out. Behind. Luke, while they're while that's happening, Luke, who's a part of the play? Who made the He's play? It's Envoy. Love it. He's always behind. Makes the quick routes. You give him the liberty to be part of the play, but do his own thing. Bam. Envoy again with Money. The final two. Money. Look at these adjustments, guys. Perfect. All right, so here we go. Same setup, guys. Formo gets a quick push. He's helping out Envoy this round, actually, but it's basically essentially the same setup. Envoy gets hit there. Krim trying to throw a nade to the heavens. That's definitely going to blow up in the sky. That one stuck to the ceiling. Jump with the bomb. So same setup. Maybe he was going to show us something cool. It was. Here we go. Same thing. We're going to try to work the guy back plane. Envoy. Given a couple different looks over here, bottom right. Gotta be careful with it. Okay, gotta be careful. All right. Uh oh. Ooh, I and there we go, man. Dashy, there he's up 3 0. He gets a little bit ahead of himself. That can't happen, my dude. You cannot challenge when you're that guy on the island. Your job isn't to kill, it's to stay alive. Falling back into old habits. Now, while they do improve a ton, that 
cannot happen they can be robotic i mean they can be like they it can be so much better than they already are and you're gonna have to be in a series versus phase that right there can't happen do not challenge that fight you get the info on him and you back up you move if he dies now they're in a 3v4 and their plan could potentially go to shit here but we'll see what happens I mean, right? I mean, there's, there's an example of it i mean dash he's trying to he's trying to win that he wins that it's great for his blood but instead now how do you get you know trying to work this b bomb site so difficult without numbers now look what happens look who has to back up formal unfortunately so now what does scump do here he doesn't have his teammate to help him bait out the bomb site it's just tough scump's got to win a really really hard gunfight and then it gives them the liberty to push up here and formal's not in the position that dash would have been in so that guy's the angle on the wing if dash is alive here this guy doesn't have the angle on the wing and then formal's in the plane and they double team shotzi they kill the guy on the wing they kill the guy on the bomb they get the bomb down they have numbers they win the round dash you can't die there now it might seem minuscule when you're watching but it's massive you know that's here we go next round and that's what it is it's like like i feel like they're telling Dashi to play his life by himself over there, but they're not telling him like, dude, you cannot challenge. Like you can't. And I think sometimes, you know, he's one and three right now. He wants to be part of the play and get the kills. But hey man, your job is simply just to be a threat on the map right here. Now they're looking for him. Look, Illy kill him. He's looking for Dashi. Dashi and Illy, but this time Dashi's just gonna back away. Like right here, I mean, he's getting these angles, but like, man, you, you cannot die here. They're looking for you, my dude. They know. He's See, look, he's there. He gets tagged. Like, man, they do. These teams are smart. Like Empire, Phase, Rocker. These teams, they are. They understand where you're weak, and they try to pounce on it. So for Dashi, his job is like he's such a big threat, and he's the focus of the the opposition that he has to play his life. Just going right for his forehead. Essential, man. You're a piece to the puzzle. first blooded again. But man, this just feels like a like I don't know tournament match like just the pace of it the patient there we go envoy able to work the map gets it's the kill on the wing envoy. dashy doesn't die doesn't give them the angles there's the first and look blood. what happens here they're worried about dashy in the back so they're looking at him come able to get a free kill why well, you gotta stay alive man simple stuff guys it's just really difficult well, in the so moment to, to, to play safe only the thing is he has a bomb in his hand i guess and some nice right here i mean still stuff. like Let's even still your job is just stay up you dash just hold it Got to just be a threat. They down. Doing a good what job. Do do he's doing a great job right here. Uh, you, you see just down. his That's presence, what it does over there. I mean, he's been great with his QBZ yeah. inside of plane. He's found a number of picks. We, we, we don't see this too Beautiful. often. He's scratching his head. He's like, oh, shit, what do I do? He's like, I'm not doing anything. No, you are. You're doing a good job, man. You're doing a real good job. You're one of the most important players right now on this map. And I hope they let him know that, you know? Because we, I know Dashi and the way, like, he wants to be involved in play. He wants to be dropping the big numbers. But, hey, man, you're doing a great, great job, dude. And Empire knows that the strategy is not working. They're hard, hard counter because Dash is playing safe. Well played. Beautiful. And beautiful. Here we go. Matt with the pre-fire here. Same so setup, guys, except this time, Dashy got picked that round before, right? Look at Envoy. Heads up play. I'm going to help Dashy this round over here. Put I want to help him out. And maybe they, maybe he's be. thinking that maybe Dallas is going to get desperate, push a guy up, and try to pick Choice. him. I like the different look. A little bit of a different look here from Dallas. Oh, a bit of here we go, Joe. I don't see anything top plane, so you have Illy and Why we were teammates. Zonzi. Great teammates angle. at that. Players from two chips. Two, two chips. This. Here we go. Nobody in the plane. Injured. Now it's up to these guys to start working something. Position. They're trying they're to just... They're, they're thinking since they've been winning in the plane that Empire's going to try to make a play on the outskirts. But Empire's playing right safe. So Envoy actually gets picked here because he because the play wasn't working out over here. So Envoy's like, I can't charge in the middle of the map. So I have to make a play over here, which I don't hate. I just wish they would have did it together. Scump that evens works. it out with a huge win. I mean, that was like so Scump random through the wall. Back. Scump, though. Yeah, right through the window brings it back. Dashy, I, 
couple shots go into him, but now you've backed Dallas up a little bit. So now you can get playing. So Scump's so big win. Formal's big win over there on the wrap. I mean, that was just money right there. Dashy baits him out. He knows he's gonna wrap back to the plane. Formal goes to the wing, gets the kill. Scump gets pushed up at the same time. Like they're all playing off of each other's plays quick, no hesitation. I love it. Now, right here. Dashy's up top. I don't know why he didn't just group up with his teammate. He jumped back down. Super unfortunate. Maybe a communication thing. But hey, man, you got Scump in the 1v1. Here's position. redemption time. First shot. See, will he win it? They see each other. And yeah, come on, I already know what happens here. But man, I was going crazy yesterday. Scump's injured. He comes back to the reach out, wins it. And come on, man. If that doesn't make you feel good, I don't know what will. We live for moments I mean, like that, dude. Yeah, I mean, from the Illy one that was lit to the Skump it, one that was even more lit. Like, come on, man. And at that point, it's basically game. These guys have played an unbelievable search and destroy right now. High level search. I love what I'm seeing. The adjustments that were made. And all you guys that are coming for Sender's head and for Optic's head. I mean, you got to show them love, man. You got to support them in their highs and their lows. This is an incredible performance that we've seen. in that last event just kind of picked apart. Coming still off with their search. We'll see if they can. There we go. Same setup. Dash over here at A. Convoy, just get info, part of the play. So blunt force weapons in the plane. Nades out. They connect. So Huge gunfight went on to formal. This is a nice nade challenge. Gets into that position. And nice like, win, dude. I mean, he was feeling it, dude. When he's confident. Man, this is a crazy bounce back. Guys, this was such a huge hero. Oh, wait, wait, actually. What are you doing? There you go. There. Now Dashy there. knows. He knows what to do now. He's like, all right, I just gotta stay alive. It's working. There we go. Empire lost full. There we go. Nice guy. And there it is. Now guys, guys, that was a perfect search one. I mean, I love the adjustments that they made. But on top of that, this match meant so much for these guys going into this event. Like, I mean, the Empire has been really hard for them to beat. Not only do they beat them, it seems like they 5-0 them. They play a great series throughout. And Scump's confidence is going to be through the roof. I mean, for, talk about being at a low point, losing that 1v1. For, you're like the, the king submachine gun player forever. And then Illy wins the world championship, beats you in the 1v1. You could be feeling down on yourself, not confident. He bounces back with a huge game four. In a massive game five, I mean, those last few rounds, it was just Scump going off. He did his job exactly. And that is going to, like, I think that that is going to be the spark for these guys to make a run. I think they actually have potential to win this event. Um, it really comes down to their map pool and the practice in these next few days before the major. But, hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a really fun time breaking this down. You know, if I'm going to be hard on a team, I have to showcase them when they're playing well. And right here is a great example of a team that fixed their mistakes. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the next one. Or if there's anything that I missed, I will appreciate it. But hey guys, peace. I'll see you in the next video.